Palm Springs, many of you know, and many of you all over the world know that Palm Springs comes to life the first of every year with the Palm Springs International Film Festival, which attracts over 135,000 people. And there are over what, 180 films shown. All the celebrities are here. It's a great people watching gathering place. And this is presented by the Palm Springs International Film Society, which also, when summer comes, presents, uh, runs the Short Fest. And people know the Short Fest because these are all award qualifying films. And this year it's going to be run something different in a different way due to the pandemic. And the woman I'm about to introduce needs, really needs no introduction. She is the artistic director of the Palm Springs International Film Society, Lily Rodriguez. Welcome, Lily. Hi, Claudia. Thank you for hey, having me. Hey, how are you? Pretty good. That's surviving. Pretty good. <laughs> as good as we can be, yeah. Yeah, surviving our shutdown, our, you know, our yeah. stay at home. And, and Short Fest is coming. It's right around the corner. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about, about the films? I know there were something like 370, um, and not everything will be shown. How, how is it really going to play out as we watch it from home, right? Yeah, yeah. So we, you know, so many things are changing um, and so many things change so quickly. By the time that the that COVID really hit hard and we all started working from mm -hmm. home, we'd been open for submission since October. So a lot of the work had already been done. We, we, right. you know, we watched so much already. And so our biggest, um, our biggest questions were, how are we going to be able to pivot so that filmmakers don't get hurt by this? And so one way that we did that was, you know, with, with the blessing of the board and, and the staff, we were able to return all submission fees. Um, you know, even if it's not a whole lot individually, uh, we understand mm -hmm. that a lot, especially artists, you know, they're, they're hit really hard by not being able to work. Um, right. A lot of times making art isn't, you know, the thing that brings in the money. And so, um, so that was one way. The other way was, okay, so, you know, we, we're going to have to think about how are we going to show these movies? Um, and that might, that will probably mean that we're going to go online. When we're online, in fact, I, I really had to comment on how well this was, this was done. I thought it was cool. Then you just scroll across, right? Yeah. And, uh, find films. So it, within here, you can look at the genres. Yeah. You can look up the genre. So if you're on a, um, I've actually never used it on a, on an iPad. So that's interesting. I love it's really cool. Look. And then how to watch. Um, how to watch. Right. And then you've just got, you know, happy yeah, people, people sitting, yeah. a family yeah. sitting in their living room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so like, yeah, okay, you'll... So you can go in there and then, mm -hmm. and go in and find like, you have all the films and the genre. Oh, genre region director. Yeah. And the streaming status. Okay. Exactly. So that so way you pretty... can tell. Yeah. This is great the movies come to you. So yeah, it, it's going to be easier. The other thing that we wanted to uh, make sure is that the audience had a good experience through this and, you know, shifting online. Um, the priority for us was that uh, we could make this as easy as possible for the filmmakers and also for the audience. And we understand mm -hmm. that a lot of our audience, you know, some of them might be, um, a lot of our finances have been thrown up in the air. And so we wanted to make this free for people. Um, we also wanted, the thing that's really exciting, at least, you know, if there is something exciting or a silver lining, which is difficult to say in this situation, but um, you know, some of our patrons who make their way out of the desert in the summer because it's too mm -hmm. hot, they're gonna be able to enjoy Short Fest for the first time. Hey, I wanted to bring something else up too. Yeah. I, just was so, this, this Palm Springs Life, this issue of Palm Springs Life, um, and every year they do this with uh, uh, women who lead luncheon, but now it's, you know, there's a virtual, virtually, there are honorees, there are three honorees for women who lead, 
and I turn to the first page <laughs> and there's Lily. I mean, this is, whoops, this is fantastic. Congratulations, Aww, thank Lily. Thank you. It's, it's and, a and for huge folks honor. that don't know, it's, you've made such a difference and you grew up in the Coachella Valley. And you basically, it's, you fell in love with films at such a, an early age and it, it's like you worked your way up to artistic director. It's amazing. Oh, thank you. Congratulations on everything. And we're just so looking forward to Short Fest. So we will, this will be the 16th, again, the 16th through the 22nd, correct? Correct. June 16th, 16th to 22nd. 22nd. So, yeah. um, well, great, Lily. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The time and the information. And for all of you out there, tune in, watch movies. We all love film, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank right. you. Thank okay. You. Conrad had the opportunity to talk with two of the directors of films that are being shown at Short Fest, along with showing the trailers. So I'm going to turn it over to Conrad now, and uh, this should be really fun. Okay, we are talking everything Palm Springs Short Fest virtual version this year, 2020. And we're very lucky to have a couple of the directors who are joining us here today. Let me introduce them to you right this moment. First of all, we have Christian Mercado, who comes to us out of New York. Welcome, Chris Welcome Christian. Oh, thanks for having me. Tell me the name, tell us the name of your film. It's Black Puma's uh, Colors. Black Puma's Colors, all right. And then we also have Caitlin Girard from Los Angeles. Hi, Caitlin. Hi, how are you? Just fine, thank you. Where in LA are you from? Uh, I grew up in Los Feliz. That's okay, very good. I, I uh, yeah. grew up in LA, Pasadena, Eagle Rock, the kind of same area. Oh, wow. We could, have, we could have this, it could be a whole other conversation That's about right, LA. Exactly. <laughs> Gotta move along, right? So, uh, tell, Kristen, tell us about, uh, I'm sorry, Caitlin. Caitlin, tell us the name of your film. Uh, the short is called I Lost My Mother's Ashes. All right, sounds good. So let's go ahead and start with Christian. Christian, how was it that you came to make this film or what I would consider to be uh, this music video? Yeah, no, totally. Um, basically it was kind of like through the band, the Black Pumas, like they kind of, um, actually it's a weird story. I was like kind of in Florida and I was, I was at this place called Banana Records and I like heard the song and I was like, I, I was like captivated by the song and I was like, what is this song? Like I couldn't, I'd never heard it before. And I, I assumed it was like an older type of band, like something from like a, a, a different, a bygone era almost. But it turned out that they were like a new band. And I was like, I basically just figured out a way to reach out. And then <clears throat> when I was speaking with the lead singer who had like a really powerful voice, we kind of, um, we had like a similar kind of background. It felt like, cause he was like busing for a long time as a musician. Mm -hmm. So he had like a lot of uh, experiences that kind of like, you know, in, in terms of like what is home and like, and I had experiences too, where like I was kind of like transient and like I, it was hard to figure out what is home. And so the inspiration for the film kind of emerged out of this idea of what really kind of is home. And I think we both kind of arrived at the concept that it's family essentially. Yeah, it comes out, it com definitely comes out in this film. And let's go over to Caitlin. So Caitlin, where did this story come from? I mean, this has got to be an individual's worst nightmare. <laughs> um, well, you know, I think I was really curious about the grieving process. And what I learned in my own experience is that when we grieve, we usually have this expectation to grieve together. And I think what often happens or what I experienced or what the story sort of uh, comedically in such a dark fashion explores is that our grieving processes are very different and that we often can clash in wanting the other to grieve like we do. And that grieving time. is a very nuanced and complex emotion that is very unpredictable. Mm -hmm. And so in this space of trying to grieve, these two sisters are confronted with one of the sisters having lost her mother's ashes and wanting to sort of support her sister's grieving process and not admit that she had such a terrible faux pas. And, you know, I, I just have this, I, I think that in the way that we need to find the darkness or the lightness in dark moments that exploring the comedic side of death and grieving is also a very healing process. It makes it easier also, I think. 
right? Yeah, right. it's it's almost like you're on the verge of laughing and crying all at the same time, and right. the world is crazy. And <laughs> I'm, I'm into that. So let me go back over to uh, to uh, let's see, it's over to Caitlin, if you would, Caitlin, if you again, would you tell us your name? introduce and introduce the film for us and then we'll look at a trailer and we'll talk again on the other side yeah of course um, my name is caitlin gerard and my short is i lost my mother's ashes and let's take a look i feel like it would be in everyone's best interest if we didn't rush this no mom wanted it on the salt sticks it's the last thing that she said she wanted, and it's the only thing that she said she wanted, okay? So just pick me up tomorrow at one and bring the ashes, and I'll bring everything else. Okay, so let's do this. So uh, thank you for that. For that. Yeah, it's it's def definitely uh, going to be something we want to watch. It looks like you had a variety of locations that you shot your film at. So did you do, did you use permits yes. or did you do guerrilla shooting? We had a very exceptional cast from Mandy Moore to W. Earl Brown to Justine Lupe. And it, 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 it for, sort of forced me to meet them at their level. So there was no, we couldn't really cut corners. I wanted everything to be safe and by the books. You wouldn't really, <laughs> we wouldn't want to get that stopped in the middle of a production like that because yeah. we just, overlooked permits yeah definitely definitely and uh christian why don't you if you would for us uh, tell us your name again then introduce your trailer and we'll look at we'll talk again on the other side christian mercado and black pumas colors all right i have to tell, I have to tell you christian one of the reasons i picked this film for to talk to you uh, is that when I saw this music or heard this music, I automatically thought about Sugarman Rodriguez. Do you know who that is? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, right. I love his music. And when I heard the, the when I saw the guy sitting with the guitar and I heard the music, I thought, oh wow, that that is this a Sugarman thing? You know. So <laughs> it really it caught me very quickly. Oh, beautiful! I'm glad to hear that. That's awesome. Uh, Black Puma is that the name of the group? Yeah, it's the name of the band basically. Name of the band. And then the song is colors. And I guess my approach to like, when I do music videos, is kind of like a bridge. I try to bridge the gap between like a short film and like a, or a cinematic experience in a music video as much as possible. So I kind of usually try to approach it as kind of as much as possible as narrative experience, you know? So let me go back over to Caitlin quickly. Caitlin, uh, you had some pretty uh, substantial names in your short. How do you, how do you achieve that? in what is usually a small budget for a short? Uh, it was a very small budget. The actors were all incredibly kind and gave their time pro bono. Um, uh -huh. I, you know, my background is in acting. So I worked with W. Earl Brown on American Crime and we've kept in touch. And I met Justine Lupe in Los Angeles and, uh, and I'm very fortunate to be part of a music community in LA and Mandy Moore is essentially family. So, you know, when I showed it to Mandy, I had no expectation that she would do it. We, I was just sort of <laughs> curious about sharing my work with her and her husband. And she just came back and was like, I love it, I wanna do it. So it was really cool to have such vetted actors come in and really make this above and beyond. I wanna thank you both for joining us. Before I go though, I wanna ask you both, um, uh, 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 Caitlin, if you would go first, uh, do you have something next that you're working on already that we can look for once this one happens? Well, I'm shooting a music video this weekend with Dawes. We're doing sort of a quarantine style music video, so that'll be very interesting. Um, and then I'm writing, I've been writing the full length for I Lost My Mother's Ashes, as well as an, a few other full lengths, but that is a long, long journey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, good. And it will take many, many years. <laughs> And Christian, how about yourself? Anything next on the docket for you? Yeah, um, I got a couple like comedy specials actually coming out That's soon, cool. which is pretty sweet. I'm, I'm excited about. One of them comes out in July and one of them in August. Um, one is for like Hannibal Burris, and the other one is for a comedian, Sam Jay. So right. 
Keep well, going out for those fans. <laughs> well, congratulations to both of you making it into this virtual film festival this year. I know you're uh, two of the 332 individuals that have films where there were 6,000 of them that were submitted. So you did really well getting there. Uh, congratulations. So thank you for joining us. Again, this is uh, Palm Springs Point of View. And don't forget that Short Fest happens virtually this year, June 16th through the 22nd. See you later. Thanks, bye. Thank you. I'm Conrad. And I'm Claudia. Did you like what you just saw? Of course you did. Then push on this button and subscribe. And remember to ring the bell. And then that way you'll have the, the Palm, Palm Springs, Springs Point of View. view.